Welcome to another Method Man episode where today I will be going over the Powerball. Right now, as of 1-10-2016, the Powerball is at $1.3 billion. One of my friends showed me this picture and I started cracking up. Today I will answer three questions. One, what are my odds of winning? Two, how much will I take home? And three, is it worth it to buy all the possible tickets? How many different Powerball tickets can I buy? We're gonna use this combination, this fancy combination formula to calculate this. But if you never played the Powerball before, it's the lottery where you pick five numbers first. Out of 69, none of the numbers repeat. Then you pick one last Powerball out of 26. If you wanna try this out on your own first, go for it, pause the video and see if you get the same answer as me. Plus you can check if I am actually doing this right. All right, in this formula, if you want to know how to use it, N represents the set of objects you're taking, and then R represents what you're taking out. So for the first five, I can do C, 69, there we go, and five that I'm taking out. So if I put that into my formula, it's just 69 factorial times 5 factorial minus 69 minus 5 factorial then I have to multiply that result to 26 because there's 26 red balls in the end you get 292 million 201 thousand 338 ways to win the Powerball you have better chances of getting struck by lightning basically found this page right here online it's a concise table of powerball odds we just calculated the first one for you one in 292 million but say you don't get the powerball right it's one out of 11 million but you only get a million dollars i mean it's still a lot of money but it's not 1.3 billion to win something it's just one out of 24 because say you get the powerball right still get four dollars so that's not that bad second question how much money will i take if i do win this 1.3 billion dollar jackpot unfortunately you do not get to keep all that money if you decide to take a lump sum meaning you just take it all at once instead of no payment plan i don't want no payment plan you only keep 62 percent of your winnings which will be about 806 million dollars I mean that's still not that bad but then you get hit with these taxes it's 40 percent of taxes that they're going to take out of that 806 million and then that comes down to 483 million 600 thousand that you actually get to keep if you decide to take a lump sum i mean it's still not that bad that's a lot of money if i have bought all the possible tickets will it be worth it well the powerball costs two dollars per ticket so the cost will be whatever the number of combinations there are times two. So it would cost you $584,402,676 if you bought one of each ticket. See if it's worth it, just do some simple subtraction. That's my winnings minus the cost and I would be at a negative $100 million if I decide to buy all the tickets. Wah, wah, not worth it. Hopefully you liked this episode. If you did, throw me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on another real life math scenario in the future. Peace.